Odd Eyes, Rebellion, XYZ, Dragon. Let's just fucking see it. Or no, should I say the Supreme fucking Dragon? This is how you make a fucking transformation shit. This is how Dark Yu Gi upgrades his shit to either more extreme mode. Oh yeah, let's have him like have Dark XYZ Rebellion Dragon. No, let's have views of Odd Eyes and become one of the most sickest fucking things on the fucking planet. It's like, can just straight up say, guys, like, honestly, this episode Dark Yu Gi yeah, yeah, again, he was taking down some more scrubs, but Jesus, were they taken down in such an epic way. So we get to see what really, like, these two magicians things. I did see a preview of this, and it's very weird. I've really read their effects throughout this episode, and to find out what really the supreme, like, dark, you know, XYZ old eyes really does. And from what we saw, and what we really found out about it, is that we found out, you know... Like, you can able to summon it with two level 7 dragons, but one of its effects is only active if you can make an XYZ, like, dragon-type monster go into it. So what you, you did, got rank 4, used one of his new magicians, I think it was, like, the Magician of Destruction, turned the actual rank into a level, and then it was actually able, with the other magician, turn it into a level 7. One thing I can definitely say, though, is that that one, that straight-up magician, the one that can change any level of any monster to one of the other side of the field, that is fucking broken. That one needs to get banned if that ever comes in the TCG. Like, if it's a limit, if they say, like, oh, it only has to be, it has to be a monster, like, level 7 or higher, then I'd understand why. But then that also makes them, the cards kind of, like, fucking broken as well. But I think there needs to be a limit on the Pendulum cards. Definitely, like, this one has to be, like, limited to the one per card. Maybe that's like the only real reason I can see how this works, but what it does is when it's like does that affect it destroys every other monster on the field Then your opponent has damage from all of those monsters that were destroyed all their total attack Okay, that needs to be fucking half that needs because imagine like say like they've got like fucking shit ton of monsters Let's say they've got like I don't know blue eyes like red eyes darkness all that shit all that fucking pop just there. You just lost 5,800 attack points that are of life. Straight there. And not to mention, every monster is destroyed. It can attack that amount of time. So, honestly, I think you can... Uh, the destruction one uh, will probably go with the life point stuff. But I think the multiple attacks will still stay in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, t a level 2 7 like, dragon type monster. So, like, two red eyes. If you use, like, the red egg or something like that into that combo. And then maybe bring it out. Or, like... The other level seven dragons. I can't really think of any uh, personally on hand at the moment, but regardless of what, that's a fucking powerful effect, man. But remind you, you do only get that effect if that's the case. It's not. It's just a standard like three thousand attack point monster. Regardless of what, though, it's a fucking powerful thing, and you yeah, absolutely destroyed it. But he's surprised that like, his friends are trying to hold him down. I really like for how manly Gon Genzaka was as he fucking like ran at Yuya, hold him down. He took a fucking pillar with him on his back, and he still was okay afterwards. And, like, it was up to his friends, really, to turn him back into normal. And we find out, you know, he's got two souls colliding, uh, which we already guessed. That's Yu-Gi-Oh's and that's also Yu-Gi-Oh's. And what we found from this is that there's also another entity there, that there's a darkness. And that's why I'm getting, like, this thing is affecting the darkness of yu gi And it's, like, really say, like, he does, you know, want yu gi to change and, like, make people smile with his card. But I think it's just the darkness of remembering all those memories. And that's what's happening. Either that or he's got a third force inside of him. That would be kind of interesting to find out. Like, hey, I mean, we've already got, like, seen, like, the clear wing synchro one. I really want to see what happens if, like, Yuya does, like, another thing where he, like, synchros, like, the like all of them together. Like, because I, I can honestly imagine, like, that's what he's going to do next. He's going to somehow turn, like, the clear wing synchro dragon. Or he's going to turn into odd eyes into a synchro. And it's going to, like, make a synchro summon. And it's going to be sick. So I honestly can't wait to uh, find out what's really going to be happening with Yugo. But the rest of the episode, it was a lot of build-up. Like, uh, a lot of stuff that was kind of happening. We get to see, like, the one of the fusion dimensions, like, big fucking generals come out. The Yuri motherfucker, like, he came out. And we kind of know that Dennis, like, he, he's a little bit evil. Like, you see, like, he obviously working with the fusion guy. So he's either, like, the uh, person that betrayed everyone. I doubt it's the synchros. Like, they're probably just using the synchros and excuses. It's probably just... Probably him, Dennis, like, making the excuse and saying, like, he's the one that, like, sold out the XYZ dimension for, like, his life or, like, some more power. That's honestly what I can get it. And overall, it was a really good episode. Fucking love the new card. And, you know, we had some more little development with, like, uh, Selena and, as well, like, Yuzu. They're going to be, like, disguising as each other and, like, going to hide around since she kind of wants to see what's the whole gig with Kurosaki. So, honestly, I'm going to give this one, like, I think this is a 7.5 to an 8. This is a really good episode of, like... Uh, they, I mean, it, it went a little bit slower at the end, but 
now that we're officially into a year's worth of Yu-Gi-Oh! 45 episodes, it's a great fucking series. It's honestly, like, the second to third best uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series in general, like, up to there, with the first two ones, like, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! and GX as well. So I'd put this as probably, at the meantime, my third favorite. I'd put this up as my third favorite series so far, but let me know in the comments down below what um, you think of about this episode, and also as well, which is being about Supreme Dark Rebellion Dragon. So that's all for me. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.